Chapter 5 Season 2 has been out for a few weeks now and I believe I have finally found the best controller settings. These settings will improve your AR aim, your sniper aim, and your shotgun aim. So let's get into them. Alright, starting with the display, I do play controller on PC. So I have the 1920 by 1080 resolution. I have my V-Sync off. My frame rate limit is going to be 240 frames but I do play on performance mode for the best frames possible. My brightness, I just leave at 100. I do not play with colorblind. And then my view distance is medium, and then my textures, meshes are both gonna be low, and then I make sure my FPS is showing when I play. Now, as far as audio, the main thing to pay attention here is gonna be the visual sound effects. Make sure you have those on because they make a huge difference when you're playing. Now, as far as my language and region, it's set to auto, toggle sprint on, auto open doors on, mantle activation and hurdle activation are both hold jump and press jump because my jump is binded to one of my paddles. So I do have a scuff controller and it has four paddles. My hold to swap pickup is off, toggle targeting off, uh, auto pickup weapons are off. I personally don't like them. If you like them, definitely keep that on. Preferred item slots. Now when I go to configure this, my first slot is gonna be shotgun, second slot is assault rifle, third is sniper, Fourth is a consumable item, so shield um, or med kits. And then my fifth slot is gonna be utilities, so bunkers, shockwaves, the Icarus wings, those will be in the last slot. So that way I can easily swap from shockwaves to a shotgun. Now, if I'm doing a three weapon loadout that doesn't involve a sniper, if I'm doing a shotgun, assault rifle, and an SMG, I'm actually gonna have the SMG in my second slot and then on my last slot is going to be my assault rifle so that way i'm just pressing lb or rb to swap to one of those off of my shotgun now these settings are more for zero build but of course for building i have reset building choice on and then disable pre it's on and then turbo building on now my reticle of course i have it on ammo indicator i like to have on damage numbers i do cumulative instead of list that's just a preference and then reticle damage feedback hit only damage numbers of scale i just have it at 88 percent uh, if you want it to be a little lower to not have it be so big or if you need it to be a little bigger definitely adjust to what you need hud scale is going to be at 70 percent and then the rest of this i have on besides latency debug stats now gyro options don't use them i've honestly never seen anybody use these and have success with them i would at this point just leave them off now my actual controller settings auto run on builder pro on edit hold time as low as possible uh, slide hold time I have at 0 0.08 I have it about halfway and then vibration off I mean it can throw off your aim a little bit so definitely don't keep that on quick weapon beta I don't use this I don't like it uh, I tried it once if you do like it and you have great settings for it definitely comment below though uh, the look sense and the ADS I use the advanced option so we'll go over those here in a second my build and edit mode are both 2.0 and then advanced options I my horizontal speed is 43 my vertical is 42. I use no boost, I do not like the boost. And then my aim down sight, this has been a big adjustment. I used to go from between eight to 10%, but this season my horizontal speed is 12% and my vertical speed is 14%. Again, I have no boost. I play input curve linear. I am gonna be doing some videos though here soon where I'm gonna test out exponential and exponential settings. I'm gonna be doing that for fun because I've always played linear since it's came out for these settings back in chapter two. Now my left stick dead zone is 8%, my right stick is 6% and I do not have a foot controller. Now, as I mentioned, I do play uh, with a scuff controller. I use all four of my paddles. So I'm jumping, sprinting, those are both binded to my paddles. Now I crouch with the right stick, as you can see, Sprint is Y because that is binded to a paddle. Now my harvesting tool, I actually click in with the left stick. And then the rest of this is pretty standard as far as like the wall, the floor, stairs, nothing too crazy there. My switch mode, like I said, is binded to a paddle. So that is gonna be B. Um, as far as confirming an edit and resetting an edit, it's gonna be LT. And then my reset is Y, which is also a paddle. Actually editing the build is right on my D-pad, but that's because it's binded to a paddle as well. If you don't use paddles or you only use one or two, I highly suggest binding as much as you can to your sticks and your D-pad 
so that way you are not going from x to y to b to a so much because that takes up so much time but these are the controller settings that have been working for me this season definitely drop your settings below in the comments if you have something that's different that's been working for you make sure you drop a like and subscribe i'm also going to be dropping some ranked videos soon use code toon spider in the fortnite item shop and i hope you have a great rest of your day peace